Greetings everybody, welcome to Whiskey Wednesday, hope you're all doing well on this fine day, whether it be your morning, evening, or whatever time of day it is, midday, afternoon, I think I've covered all the bases, starting the night with some turkey, said to the missus, what shall I have, and she grabbed the turkey, mm. nice, so cheers. Hopefully the audio is good and the video is good. Give us a thumbs up if it is. I haven't done any drastic tweaking today, so it should all be good. Only thing I did was add a couple of sound files, so I've got like just a few sounds. Got some laughs and some cheers and that's about it. Need to add a bunch more when I go around to finding them. Not that I can hear anything because I haven't got my headphones in. So I don't even know if that worked. I have no idea. I suppose I should check, shouldn't I? Do we have any sound coming through? That is the question. No. Does not sound like it, does it? Do we have any sound coming through? That is Are the you question. serious? No. Does not sound like it. I can't hear a thing. Maybe if I turn that on. No, serious? just turn this one on. No, that's all. I can hear that. We're all good. Ah, we're all good. All good. And you would have heard that annoying, stupid beep. But I still haven't got around to taking all of the whiskey off the shelf. Just to replace that stupid battery, so... Going to have that annoying beep all night. Yay. I think everything's working. Everything I can see on my end seems to indicate that it's functioning. Excellent. Should all be good. Even though stupid YouTube keeps saying the audio stream is lower than the recommended bit. So I haven't had that come up in a long time. I haven't changed it. I think it's good. Is the music coming through? I can't even tell if the music's coming through. So we listen. I think it's good. Is the music coming through? I can't even tell. The yep, I can hear the music. So we listen. I don't know if the level on the music... Actually, I should add a compressor on that. I don't know about the levels of some of those songs. I might need to do that. I need to put a compressor on that. Use it. No, it seems to be running. I think we're good. Bit quiet at the moment. Is this gonna work? Let's see if the see if this works. Hit the button. Bit quiet at the moment. Is this gonna work? Let's see if the, Yep, that worked. Had to have the crickets. <laughs> Blame Cheat for that. Yo, Chris, how you doing? 
Did Chris you buy Tats. the Imperial Probe Droid? Did ya? Did ya? Good day. Tony Two Toes. Did you buy it? Good day, Tony. How you going, mate? Feel free to join if you can, guys. Jump on in. Bar is open. Well, pub. It's not really a bar. We're not that. We're not that flash around here. There ain't no bar. It's just a bench. With some idiot behind it serving alcohol. As it should be. Make sure this works. Yep. Bring up. The logo is going to bring up the avatar today, tomorrow, next week. Oh, I'll definitely have a couple of drowns for you, mate. You got to work. Ah, oh, that evil four letter word. Horrible word. I'll definitely be having a few drowns. So I just picked this up literally like an hour ago. I went into the shop early and saw they had it on the shop for a pretty good price. So I went and immediately grabbed one. I started taking the bottle shot, so I should be opening that sucker and drinking some later on. Excellent. That's the sound effect I need to put up there, but I'll get copyright. I'm trying to do everything without copyright. Because I can put a shitload of sounds on it. Get copyright. G'day, Jen. How's your morning? Good day. Jen Ardolino. Does it sound all good? Have I fixed it? There's no distortion, no clipping. Talked to them about the LM, it was out of stock but coming in hopefully next week. Around 150 mark. If it comes, do you want me to get one for you as well? Yes, please. Actually, I'll double check that because I did see somewhere where they were having one. I did have a source that I was going to get it. But the dead. Yeah. I'll check. Remind me to check. Because I did have... I did have a couple of tabs open with a couple of sources for the lamb. So I was going to get it. You know, whiskey, whiskey comes along and you buy that and buy another Lego set and then that gets further along in the list of tabs. But it's always in the back of my brain. I need to buy that lamb. I need to buy that lamb. I think it was around the one... 50-ish mark too, if I remember. 150, 160, if I remember. But yeah, I'll double check. <clears throat> so my pure probe droid. This is, this is. My Imperial Probe Droid should be arriving anytime from tomorrow. So it'll either come tomorrow, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one of those days. Who knows where, when with Australia Post. Yeah, I want to check if uh, Lil says hi, but she's going to sleep. She just got home. It's on 7 a.m. start. Yikes! Sleep well, Lil. That's no fun. I'm lucky I don't have to get up stupid early. Yeah, have a good sleep. May it be a good holodeck program that you're testing. <laughs> Good day. Nightbot. Nightbot, you finally turned up. You actually turned up within 10 minutes this time, not like last night. So I put the 
shuttle over there, so you can only see the nose of it. I don't know where else to put it, unfortunately, at the moment. No, sorry, sorry. And you're better off going on to Vicky W and saving 20 bucks. Because it's only 99. No, came out, sorry. Came out. Was came out? Yeah, came out. <clears throat> yeah, you saved 20 bucks. Free postage, too. Win win. Because I don't see mine getting here until next week. It was shitty in Australia Post. But even if it does get here tomorrow, I'm not going to do it until you get yours and we organise a time so we can actually build it together, which would be fun. We could do some day drinking. Because <laughs> you're not working for the next 10 days or something, right? Are you or aren't you? I thought I saw you on a post somewhere that you had 10 days off or something. 12, 12 days, 10 days. am, so I have the Japanese bottle tomorrow. Nice. I was just watching a thing with the oat barrel over in Sydney. They were reviewing the... Or is it the Lyceum or something like that in Pretoria in Melbourne? They got this massive bar, or this nice little bar in there. They won a bunch of awards to two guys running it. And they got a shitload of high-end stuff. Bunch of Japanese stuff. And yeah. Showed the missus. <laughs> I was like, we got to go here when they come out of lockdown. It'd be an awesome place to go. Yeah, I got it online. Yeah, free shipping. 99 bucks. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll do that. I quite often get my Lego through Kmart, Target, because um, I usually have a pretty good deal. Off till Saturday night. Sweet. Nice. Nice. I'm pretty happy with that. So he won't be staying up late if your brother flies in at 5 a.m. Damn. He's doing the red eye, eh? This guy's leaking again. I need some whack. Was well, this came out that uh, closed in the US? What well, all came out? Well, I know they've they've closed two Target stores here in um like one in Geraldton and one down south. They closed both of those. Looks like Aldi's going to go into the other Target. Looks like we're going to get, yeah, we're getting Kmart where Target was. Doesn't Kmart own Target though? I don't know, they're both the same fucking thing. Yeah. I thought that's what they were anyway. <laughs> Lots of drinking. Excellent. I just noticed today when I picked this up. I've got a bunch more of those um, red box Russell reserves. One minute of rain and then eight hours of high winds. We've been nothing but wind 
for the last three days non-stop. Very, very really fucking annoying. So that's typical. Normally not this time of year. Not what you're do. Nah, US came out nothing like this. No, that's right. Jesus. Personal problem? Hopefully nobody needed to go to the loo because you fucking will now. It won't uh, heat up over quickly in this weather. Which is a bonus. So I got an email today that the Glen Fick 14 should be shielded and nothing but a virgin oak. It is on its way. So I should have that in probably a week and a half. And I don't know what the bottle is for the other, the single malt whiskey club. I don't know what the bottle is for that mob for this month. Have to wait. They normally don't announce it too early. The single malt whiskey club, they usually announce them pretty quickly. A report for you when she's able to attend for duty. Excellent. Make sure that the holodeck is running at optimal efficiency. No uh, abnormalities like Moriarty's and that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I need to get on that. Sort out what put up a poll. What episode we're gonna? Um... Yeah, I reckon we should do a watch episode. Like watch a couple of episodes next week. Maybe if we watch one and then discuss it. Hmm. I'll think about that. <sighs> what episode to watch though? That is the question. What one to watch? Probably have to go with a TNG. Something cool. Yeah, I have to do a poll. Going hunt today to get a bottle for our drones else on the fundraiser. Going to get some Ed Williams bottom bond for this bladder. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Did you see the share I did to you on Facebook for Wissycast this week for the interview that Mark has this Saturday? Oh, the Tribbles episode? Oh, if you're going to do the Tribbles one, let's do Deep Space Nine Trouble with Tribbles. That's a fucking awesome episode. Or oh, you're talking about the original Tribbles. We could always do that one too. It's always a classic. Um... The one you sent me, the Whiskas, the interview? Or is there another one that's coming up this Sunday? I'll have to check anyway. I haven't listened to the other one yet, but I'm going to. 
That's pretty cool that it, yeah, he's that he's changed and he's running all that stuff. He's a pretty cool guy. Like I've watched him on a few interviews and podcasts and stuff before. He's a pretty cool guy. Very smart. Yep, the interview. Yep. Yeah, he's running a few distilleries. Looking after a few distilleries. It's pretty cool. cool. Howdy, partners. Hey, you don't random? Yeah, you can get your ass in here. You have to do it. I'm thinking. Got yourself your computer. Yeah, Mark is, but yeah. Not the guy they, they interviewed. I'm trying to remember his name now. I can see his face. I can hear his voice. I'm fucking hopeless for names. Fucking hopeless. Because it was with, it was, it was with Glenn, Glenn Marangi under Dr. Bill Nunstall, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. I think. <laughs> yeah. We can have it. Man, that sounds horrible. Random FPV. It's no fucking fun. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious? Ah. Oh, fuck's sake. I tested it for like 20 minutes before I started the stream. Without a single glitch. Fucking shit. No, he's not Ardbeg, he's Ardbeg and Glenn Morangi. Because they're both the same. Yeah, it was under Dr. Bill Lumston. Which is Glenn Morangi and Ardbeg. And he wasn't there for that long, actually. Fucking audio. Right, not monitor it. And I don't know what's causing it. Only every so often with the clipping, you're still getting that noise from last night. Well, I wasn't. It was running fine. It's so annoying.
Right. I'm going to turn everything off and see if there's any issues. Actually, no. What I will do is turn everything on. Turn thing off. Cantalabra. I'm going to tibble. So you get the shitty noise. And I can put a little bit of a noise going on. Right, so this is clean audio. with the background noise. With the background noise. I'm not hearing any noise. On the YouTube. Sounds perfectly clean. Turn the music off. All right, I can hear a little bit of static, which is understandable. All right. Turn the filters back on. All right, and that's completely now broken. <laughs> Since I turned it on, it turned into gobbled gobbledygook. Let's restart that. Test. Why does it do that? That runs fine. 
So annoying. That's it. If you're racing the drone, that's a lot. They don't have any issues. as being a total shit. Yeah, I'm still here. Just trying to unfuck this. Makes no logical sense. Why, why, why? Sounds like choking on something. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, 
Nah, it's not a card against you. It doesn't happen all the time. It's fucking random. It's the audio engine. Um, yeah. Fucking computers. Sometimes. No. Like I've started and stopped the software like eight times and it still keeps coming up. It's not cold. It's just cool. It's definitely not cold. Gobbled? Nope. Gobbled. Nope. Gobbled now? Nope. Gobbled now? Gobbled now. There we go. Clean. Computers. For the best of time. You have more? All I have is a bottle of very... Very, very old Scotch. Whiskey! Well, I will try it. I'll get it! Pounding two $300 bottles of Glenguli frickin' blue? Two? I ordered three. Then passing out on the bed totally naked for a... What'd you call it? Power blackout, and you're welcome. Holy shit. Right? Glenguli for the best of times. Right. See you later, guys. I shall monitor it. Blackout. Yeah, how you going, Dustin? Mission still work. Yeah, this works. Clips up. Change your name. <laughs> what are bags? Bloody Mary full of vodka. Nice. G'day, Colin. Batch 219 and the 22. Nice. Now, there's no such thing as too much art big. Hair the dog. Agreed. Hair the dog. The brain ache is just withdrawal symptoms. You just need to get that fixed back. Drink more whiskey.
Morning, Colin. Right, the audio seems to have settled down. It's fucking annoying me though. Even if I turn off the compressor and the gate, there's still some noise coming through. Problem is when it's a hairy dog for the hair of the dog the next day. That is true. Alright, I'm gonna try this. That is true. That is also true. <laughs> yes. I was wondering why you came up with that other name. That's all good. As long as you gave us a um, subscribe with the other account. Yeah. Hard bag is the control. I like it. I like the way you're thinking. Well, let's turn that noise filter back on. That seems better. Maybe. Test test one two. That sounds right. Forgot we'll go back and do it. Nah, it's all good. This is alles good. Yeah. Test one. Test two. Test three. Test, test. Test everything. When the night before was full of bits, bits of this and bits of that. Yeah, inject it. Get it straight into the bloodstream. Bypass that whole internal organ system. It's too slow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you already subbed on the other one? Ah, oh, cheers. That seems to be working okay. Alright. A bit more bass? Nah. Once you got white hairs, it should be legal to juice. I have a shitload of white hairs. And I was noticing on my beard today, there's quite a bit coming down the sides. Wisdom hairs.
I like that song too much. Yeah. That's too much fun. So do you remember this? That was kind of loud. Alright, I'll adjust the volume on that while I remember. You want to hear that sound effect for when Ken farts? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Alright, let's drop that down to 20. That was a bit fucking loud. No, when I fart, you should get the... That's when you fart and you don't get a follow through. <laughs> I think we're all good. Fucking audio. So I just gotta remember which button does which now. So I've got. Cheers, one. Crickets. Laughter, modem, and no, oh no, not that, but just people going no, no, and I'll add more when I get around to it. It's annoying, I can hear the audio coming through. No more, turn it off. Okay, should be good. So where is my co-host? Who knows? Maybe he's already in our blackout mode. Could be. What about your shrubbery? Yeah, the problem is, get copyright if I load all those. We want a shrubbery! Yeah, don't think I'll get away with those ones. The YouTube overlords might look down upon me using copyrighted audios, sounds. Which sucks. But those ones that I'm using, they're all, um, BBC, freebies. they got a massive repertoire. I was listening today, they got a whole bunch of World War II stuff. Sound fucking awesome. They've got Spitfires and submarines and World War I planes and shit. Fucking heaps of crap. Heaps of nature stuff. That's what I got the crickets one from. I mean, back in the day on IRC, I got a massive sound library I used to play all these sounds. It was great because, you know, three o'clock in the morning, you'd be chatting to somebody and they'd fall asleep with their head on the keyboard and you'd, I'd have this fucking 
double barrel shotgun fucking sound. I think it was from Evil Dead. <laughs> and it was so fucking loud. <laughs> and it'd be great. It'd be like an hour and you'd not hear anything from anyone. No chat, nothing. You just hit that fucking button. <laughs> fucking wake the fuck out of everyone. Uh, that, was, that was a good old days. Uh, if you Google BBC Free Sound Library, it'll come up with all of the. It'll come up with a website, and they're pretty much free to use for non-commercial usage. Yeah, there's a shitload of stuff. Stuff from back, at, way back, to fairly modern day stuff like um, Harrier jump jets, fucking. Taking off and landing, flying pass. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, a bunch of stuff from the BBC archives. BBC Free Sound Archive, I think it's something like that. Just Google it, you'll find it. It's on my other machine, I haven't got the link. Stuff stuff stream. Yeah. Well, good, cool. The Adobe one is one I use quite a bit for doing videos and stuff as well. I got a whole bunch of really cool the Adobe sound archives, a free pack of shitload of sounds. They got some really good deep drone. Computerized, um, not computerized, but uh, ambient sounds. They're pretty cool. Like a city street or like in a car shop or a cafe. You know, there's really cool ambient background sounds. Oh, nice. 115 proof? Adobe, yeah. I found it ages ago. If you just Google Adobe Sound Pack or Sound Archive or Adobe Free Sounds, it'll come up. Yeah, and they're all loyalty free. And that Borg sound, I actually used that as the hum background. There was a few. Lay it in the background there. Right. What beverage should we have next? Actually, I just glanced over at the... Uh, screen view and I saw the green bottle box of Victoriana I think let's go to Campbelltown well, I could have some of that the long row 2021 red Marbac Might have a bit of that. Uh, this one. Yeah. 
Got a few more of those. I got some more in. Uh, 110 bucks. So, Dustin, was that on Telex's stream? That you were smashing those hard bags back? I saw you on there. Oh, fuck me. Red creaming soda. Wine creaming soda. This is tasty shit. <laughs> Toby's got you started, but you kept going. Nice. Got some nice legs on that. Nah, not that one. Not the paid one. It's a freebie. It's not their paid subscription shit. It's it's a free bunch of there was like five or six zips so it was like human voices it was um mechanical and then industrial and a bunch of others there's a whole bunch of them sample is the long row 2021 malbec So I want a sample on one of Roy's streams. That's the 2021 Red Malbec, 52.5, 10 year old. Everything software is free. <laughs> nah, it's not software, it was just a sound archive. From Adobe, the free one. Ah, oh, it's very nice, Daniel. Fucking delicious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's good shit. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why you say that, but eh. So I got this at the celebrations, Chris. If you're trying to find it. Oh, 
Oh, you got him? Four zip files? Yeah, I thought it was about four zip files. And then each inside of those will be a bunch of different categories. Something from Eagle Moss. I still haven't fucking shit on bloody figurines. I need to contact them. Like, what the fuck's going on? Where's my shit? Must be waiting to get um, back order or some crap, but at least let me know. I really need to fix that fucking thing. And it doesn't look that bad looking at the shelf on screen, but when I turn around and look at it, I'm like, fuck, I'm not gonna pull that shit. <laughs> I might be able to see a big, big chunk of it on the table. But I gotta pull everything off that shelf. Including all the stuff on top, I've got nowhere to put that. Not even any room on the floor around here. If you're off, I could just get to the button and just hit the fucking button. Mute the fucking thing. Man, those Gundams, they're awesome. They're fucking not cheap, though. They get those high-end Gundams? Fuck. I remember building one, fuck, I must have been eight years old. I think I've still got it somewhere. It was only a small one, but yeah, it was fucking impressive. Yeah, I've seen on Tested where they've been building a couple of them. Yeah, they're, they're nice sets. I've stayed away from them because it's not another fucking hobby I need to get into. <laughs> I could easily get fucked into their eyes though. Different Gundam style. <laughs> hey, sexy lady. Boom, boom, Gundam style. So feel free to join in and hang out, guys, if you're not doing nothing. Join us. Makes one a month and he sands them down to sharpens with and sharpies them all. Nice! Now I've been looking at those big deluxe sets. 
ones with the die cast metal and shit. And the electronics and stuff. And they're so poseable. Fucking hell, they're impressive. Most impressive. But the sound hasn't shit itself. Still good. Should be alright. I don't know where that little bit of coming in from. Oh, this the stands nice. It's a little bit of background something coming in through the mic. I don't know, but it's the cabling or what? This USB interference or fucking computer or the interface? I don't fucking know. It's a problem with running a fucking barely shitty mic through USB. Can't expect miracles out of crap. Oh, wow. Nice. How you going, Jason? Fuck, that sounds pretty impressive. Hand folding all aluminium motorcycle. That's fucking amazing. That is fucking amazing. Wowzers. That's dedication. Bitch, it looks fucking mint. God damn it, it was fucking good! Hmm. That's the end of that bit. Now, what do you have after that? That is the question. What happened? Could always go born in heaven. After the long row. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. some of this bit of this Certainly not long row standard, but that's not too bad. Fuck, it is pretty bloody quiet tonight, isn't it? This is a 
short, skimpy version of the fucking optimal tins. Yeah, I can copy and paste. Did you want to pay something? Is it a link? Oh, the link above is the Aussie bike? Yeah, hold on. Uh... There you go. Now you can paste it. Any update and when you get in your bike? Right, let's have a look at this beast. Oh, fuck. Ho, ho, ho. Bam. Wow. Oh, I know Scotty's choppers. Yeah, I know Scott is shelters because he does a whole bunch of shit for Harleys and stuff. Three to five weeks. Man, that sucks. Night, no, Chris. Take it easy, mate. Don't get too drunk when your brother arrives. <laughs> Have a fat time, mate. Yeah, my, um, I need somebody used to talk about Scotty stuff and used to see him in magazines and shit. Man, that's a sexy fucking bike. That is fucking epic embossing. I have to take this to my uh, wine buddy. He likes a good embossing. <laughs> Does graphics and stuff. I know, it's so clean, eh? Fucking mint. Blech. That's a fucking skill, man.
all hand done. Made all his own hand tools and shit to fucking form it all. Fuck. That's some fucking art. Yeah, he's definitely, he's out in the middle of bomb fuck nowhere. Yep. Yeah, if you took a side shot, you wouldn't even have to cut it out. You'd just go, slick background, go on. <laughs> be fucking perfectly. <laughs> yeah, not wrong. Oh, really? Fuck, I'm going to go back and have a look at that now. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, it's inbuilt into the actual back guard. Oh, that's sick. That's fucking sexy. Wow. That's fucking impressive. Nice. That's very nice. That's some serious fucking work hand forming all that aluminium. Fuck. Shitload of troll and error doing that. Some serious fucking skill. Art. It is fucking art. What? No fucking way. So the discovery challenge was 30 fucking days. Fuck off. Fuck. Fuck. I'm kind of speechless. Wow. Wow. Fuck, man. That's insane. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> Fucking hell. I need that Darth Vader. Impressive, most impressive fucking clip, because that's what I need to play right now. That's, that's most impressive. Fucking hell. I knew we made good shit, but fucking hell, five weeks? And you did in 30 days? Fucking hell. Man. Alright, mate.
Catch you later on. Fucking hell, that's impressive. I'll have to go back and uh, watch some videos on that. I mean, if it was a discovery thing, there's probably a whole episode on. That's fucking impressive. Hand form all that shit? Fuck. Some people out there just have some amazing fucking skills. Make us mere mortals just insignificant. It's good to see people like that actually still, you know, keeping those skills, building up on them. Because hand craftsmanship, kind of a dying art, it really is. Oi! That's the sound effect I need, need to make. Oi! It's got some fucking dings in it by the looks of it. I do like these tins. Something you can keep around and put shit in, you know? You working today, Adam? What are you hauling? More pet food? Pretty quiet without fucking Simon. It's been ages since I've done the old solo show thing. I always feel we get the little bits of silence in like, people are like, I at least want to build on Lego, I can just build fucking Lego. Are you picking up a load right now? Nice. So what rig do you run? Is it a, like a single trailer, t double, or something crazy like we got over here, like three or four trailer? You know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it is. I have no idea where it is. It's funny, one of my trucking buddies um in the states whenever i showed him pictures of the australian fucking trucks he's like fuck i'm like yep <laughs> we don't fuck around out here <laughs> adding wheeler nice yep they're a fucking diamond a dozen around here Decent fucking rig, though. What is it? What are you, what are you running here? Kenworth or a fucking... Whatever. I don't remember the fucking name of the brands now. Brains.
brain's gone down to shutdown mode. It is a Kenworth. Nice. Ah. A little bit biased. I always like the Kenworth because it's got my fucking name in it. And ah, sexy looking truck. I reckon they're a good rig. I like them. If I was going to have one, I'd be having a fucking Kenworth. I'd just have to, wouldn't I? So what is it? T680. Oh, have you got one of the sexy blue ones? I'm just looking at the sexy blue one. It's a fairly modern fucking ring, that one. Fucking sleek! Schmick, mate. Charcoal grey. Alright, let's have a look what's the charcoal grey. Ooh, that's a nice grey. Oh, well, like that. Like a gunmetal. That's not bad, not bad. There's fucking plastic on this thing. Bam, a total can't! Cheers, sis. Take it easy. Yeah, this fifth thing's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Fucking bowling. Not too much embossing on the label. The heavy peated part is embossed. Ten's not embossed. Not like this. This is fucking stamped. Mellow yellow. This afternoon. 
It's just fucking getting up early shit. That's the problem. I'm not a morning person. Don't do mornings. I'm nocturnal like a bat. Especially when you have to go up by an alarm. I'm not a fan of that. In time after eight o'clock is pretty good. Four eight o'clock, nah, too early. Between eight and nine is good. Me. I can smell this fucking port charlotte. Oh man, that smells so good. Brook Lady Hebridean Distilleries. Carves into the top of the bottle cap. Pretty cool. Good fucking cook, Pop. I've had this in my shopping cart for a while. And I was going to get it with a couple other bottles, but it was fucking $282 and it was $300 to get shipping. And there was nothing else I fucking wanted. And I was like, fuck. G'day, co-op, how are you going? And then when I went in today, and I saw it on the shelf, and they had like four of them sitting there. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm going back and grabbing that. So I did. Yeah, fucking good pop, eh? <laughs> That's a fucking good pop. It's because the cork, cork is noise and moist. That's what she said. <laughs> Cork is not the best thing to sell a bottle, but fuck, it adds to the experience so much more than a fucking screw top. So how are you doing, co-op? On this fine Wednesday morning, evening. Let's stamp the tenure on the lid. Damned in there. I can focus. Jesus. Hopeless. Look at that. Stamped in there. Just hope they all start to switch since the day. I agree. I mean, I do like a, a rigid edge cork, but I have to agree with it. The synthetic corks 
And a lot of people say, well, they still break, but I reckon if they made the whole thing the same material in one piece, you wouldn't have the breaking problem. Like, Starwood's here in Australia, they're all fucking synthetic. And they always pop good. But they're still... I mean, this almost looks like a, a one piece. I don't think it is, though. Fucking focus. That, that's still wood. I reckon if they made the whole thing one piece. <laughs> Relaxing in bed? Nice! Now I reckon if they made them like that, but all one piece, you wouldn't have any breaking issues. Well, you'd minimise the hell of it. Like the Starwoods? Yeah, I don't mind the Starwoods. The, those small batch ones, they're pretty fucking good. I mean, I've got the Mesquite and I've got the ginger beer cask. And I've been saying I need to get the Nova and the Twofold and do a review on them since they're getting well known throughout the world. Oh, the Cat's Eyes have one piece. Oh, there you go. That's not sweet. I think, I think JD's hooking me up with a cat's eye, so I'll be able to check out that cool. Nice. Yeah, I reckon that's the way to go. I mean, it's not going to be as good as having the wood on top or whatever, but it'll cut down all those fucking problems. And you can still put your fucking logo and shit on top of it, you know. Yep, I reckon it's the way to go. They don't dry out, they don't shrink, they don't expand, they don't rot. And you still get the pop. Oh, the Chattanooga's corks are in one piece as well. There you go. So they're starting to creep in. Excellent. Yeah, I've never heard of anyone breaking a one piece, so. As long as they all use good material, you know, as long as it's not some toxic fucking shitty stuff that, you know, has parts crap into the whiskey, then we're all fucking good. You got the twofold, the Nova, and the Solera. Yep. So that, they're three of the ones that are really starting to creep into the international market. So I need to grab them and do some reviews on them. Like the stores getting a store pick? Nice. It's a fucking good pop. <laughs> Can't get tired of that. <laughs> it's worth the fucking price of admission, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna have to do it. See what this sounds like. It's gotta be done.
Nice. Person like the Elijah Craig cork pop. Yeah, I don't have any fucking Elijah Craig. I find Diageo. Yeah, gotta have fun. I find Diageo cork pops are pretty good. Uh, there's a fucking Diageo bottle. I mean, they're all pretty much the same. Oh, that was shit. But they're always, they're decent corks, they're always nice and tight. No, that was a crap one. But yeah, they're usually the same bottles, the same corks, they're usually pretty fucking good. That one's not very squeaky. Uh, that's another fucking Diageo there. I've got heaps of Diageos, but yeah, they're, they're normally pretty good. This one's pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have fucking fun. What it's about. To do a cork pop test episode. Get a bunch of bottles that are exactly the same at different levels and see what happens to the cork pop in different temperatures, too. Cheers, co op. Don't wake too hard. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Get a few bottles exactly the same. Different temperatures, different levels, and whether it's a dry cork or a wet cork, and see what it does to the cork pot. Interesting. Cheers. A lot of it's got to do with the expansion of the gas, the volatile alcohol compounds escaping into the headspace. I think once you get down below the shoulder, the cork pop gets less and less. Unless it's a stupidly hot day and all your fucking shit's evaporated into the headspace, then it'll pop alright. But the lower it gets, I think the worse it gets. Be interesting to try different bottle shapes. A fun experiment. have to work out how to do it with temperature differential. I think the easy way to do it is do it on a hot fucking day. And then you can put one in the fridge for a certain amount of time. Chill it. Like a wine cooler and then the fridge. Mm-hmm.
It really depends on how long it's been sitting in there unopened too. As soon as you open it, that first pop is always going to have a lot more pop than the second pop. Because we let all the expanded gases out. Which is not oxidization! Still need to do my rant episode about that. I know everyone calls it an oxidization, but I wish they wouldn't. It's a bad fucking word with an inherited from beer and fucking wine. Which is not relevant to whiskey. Only in the fucking barrel. Not in the bottle. Well, maybe for young whiskey. Like high proof young bourbons, I can imagine there could be some oxidization occurring. But for like 10 year old single malt scotch, no. Oxidization is gone. But even that, it's going to be very minimal because it takes fucking ages for it to occur. So even on a young high ABV bourbon, I don't think there's actual true oxidization occurring, just evaporation or dissipation. But it's not evaporating in the true sense. When it's an empty glass, it's evaporating, but when it's a sealed bottle, it's dissipating into the headspace. And then when you open it, then it's evaporating. That's the way I understand it anyway. Man, it is a very quiet night, isn't it? Favorite cat! How you going, Mike? Adam was in here a few minutes ago, he's picking up his load. Got some food. In his sexy Kenworth charcoal grey truck. Well, alright, it's time to have some of this fucking Port Charlotte. To the land of Pete, we shall go. Oh yeah, boy. This is the shit. I know, right? I've done it like five times already. And every time it's like a... It's just fucking... It's a fucking good pop. I should record it. I really should fucking record it, eh? I'm just thinking. Sound of the laptop. I'll try and record it through my camera mic. I'm gonna pick up the fucking. Noise of high school. <laughs> Yeah, we are talking about cork pops earlier, I was like, I want to do an episode where I have different bottles at different temperatures, different levels, and we test them and see what it makes a difference to the cork pop. 
G'day Vin, there you go mate. This is a fucking winner. That smells so good. Sounds good, smells good. All right, I'm, I'm gonna record it. Take five seconds. Not even five seconds. All I need to do is hit record. Just. I might have to like, turn the microphone. Got a couple of those. I actually heard this fucking sizzle. Oh, Vin. So, yeah, if you want to send me some shit, um, you just send it to that address, and then you just need to send me a receipt that tells, uh, that has what it is and the price. So I can pay all the taxes and duties and excise and all that bullshit on it. Um, if you're gonna, if you're just gonna send samples and stuff, it's all good. You don't have to worry about that. It'll go through, not a problem. You can just make up a declaration of, you know, a gift. Well, you, actually, yeah, not exactly sure on that one. But yeah, if you want to send bottles or something. So the the my it's a my US thing. So the UK address and the US address. So. It's a shipping service, so people can send stuff to that address, and then I pay for all the crap. But yeah, it's a forwarding address. Yeah. No, I still got to pay. Yeah, I still got to pay for it. Yeah, it's definitely cost to me. So, so it costs me to have the service, and then I pay for the shipping, and then I pay for the taxes and the import duties, the GST, and the alcohol excise, and all that right. But it makes it a lot cheaper for, for like you in the UK to send me something because you can just send it straight to that address and vice versa in the US. So you don't have to pay for all that fucking shipping because I saw all that out my end. And the cool thing is they hold it there for like a month so that I can get a few shipments all together before I ship it over in one box, <coughs> which is a bonus. So yeah, it still, it still costs me, but yeah, it's um, a lot easier for people to ship stuff. But that actually sizzled when I did the first cook pot and put it back in. I could actually hear it sizzling, like gas was escaping or something, but interesting. Uh, samples aren't too bad. I mean, I've had samples. I mean, Shane sent me samples, uh, Frederick sent me some samples. So my normal Australia address, that's probably the easiest way to send samples because they're just, you know, small little package. Just declare it as beard, beard oils or fucking aromatherapy oils or some shit like that. And I'll get that, not a problem at all. That's no worries. But yeah, if you want to send a bottle, use the My US in the UK or the US. And then just make sure you send me a receipt with the of the bottle and the price so I can pay all the taxes and shit on it. Now you could do that with the um With the my US, my US or the my UK address, I just need to bodge up something. 
decides beard oils or yeah, we'll have to work that one out. Easiest way to do that. I'm trying to find the bloody blue spot. Can't find anyone anywhere in the UK or the US that has it that isn't price gouging to the nth degree. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'd love to have a sample of them, but I was hoping to get a bottle or two. Because <laughs> I like the mills and stuff. But yeah, I'd be super chuffed with a sample for sure. I know some other people want to send some samples, so maybe if you just bond them all together and send it as one hit, or we'll send it to my Florida address. Should need to work out what to put on there. We'll have to bodge you up a receipt of some sort. Because that's all I need. I'd, cause, Cause if I buy something like on Amazon, for example, and it normally comes up with a thing, what it is and how much it costs, that's, that's the kind of thing I need. So I can just bodge you something up. Because they use that to work out how much GST and import duties and excises and all, all the crap that I have to pay. But if you label it as beard oil and send it straight to my Aussie address, don't have to worry about that crap. It'll get through. So Fredericks sent me some stuff and I've had stuff from Sweden before and Shane sent that stuff and it came through fine. It just got stuck on the fucking postal service here for fucking four weeks because they didn't realise it was for me and it was just stuck in the fucking post office. Dumb fucks. But finally sorted that out. Fucking got it. Let's just ship around. I'll shop around for your fucking shipping because yeah. It can bite you in the ass. Got like eight to ten samples to send you, some whiskey that puts hair on your chest. Nice! Fuck yeah, man. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to source. I'd like to get a bunch of that fucking red wood and pull that stuff. I'm not going to be able to get that haystack. But the other, the other ones, you know, there's a there's the rye, there's the American. I can't remember the other names of them. Wouldn't mind getting a bunch of those. And I found a few places in Florida that ship to that because they're in the fucking same state, so it makes sense. And our taxes and stuff really suck, and our availability for bourbons really sucks, but man, I don't know how you fucking guys survive with that bullshit that you can't ship alcohol from state to state. That is so fucking bullshit. That is so annoying. I didn't realize how fucking annoying it is until I got that My US address, and I'm thinking, oh, I could buy this. And I'm like, can I ship it to this address? No. Can I ship it to this place? Guy? No. No. No, no, oh, fuck. Fucking ridiculous. Totally understand why you just go. Because <laughs> here, I can send alcohol anywhere I want in Australia. Not a problem at all. 
piece of piss. Not an issue. Now that I've let that sit in the glass, that awesome bacon is definitely dull back quite a bit. It's there, but it's dull back. I forgot what ABV on this. It's like 50 something, isn't it? Yeah, it's 50. GTS as in Man, that's that's pretty fucking good. Um but you can own a gun? Ah oh, Yeah yeah, not really. On to see Stag. Yeah. That's just like three hundred and fifty fucking dollars. Can't even get that crap. Wait a minute, George T. Stag. Um, I think I can get that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying it. I want to try everything. I like the alcohols. I want them all. I want them all. Nah, owning a gun here in Australia fucking sucks. If you can get one. You can only get shit guns. And you've got shit laws. Restrictions. I can't even have an air off. Can't even have a BB gun. That's how fucked it is. The class is firearms. Fucking BB gun. Dorsey Stag, Full Gate, Stag Junior. Yeah, it's the Stag Junior I can get for 350 bucks, not George T. Stag. EC Barrel Proof, yeah. Booker's 7924 pros. Yes, 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 yes. Yep. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that'd be a sick ass fight. <laughs> Definitely have to do that on Live Wire Whiskey. We'll do that as a flight. <laughs> Don't drink those samples on a 24 hour stream. Well, you can, you just have to stretch those fuckers right out. <laughs> Don't drink all those in the first 20 minutes on a 24 hour stream. <laughs> Mm. No, you do not do blind. You got to drink them. So you know what you're drinking? Yeah, no, that's fair enough.
Wow, this is good shit. It's amazing how sweet it is. Because I'm trying to, I'm back in my mind trying to remember if I've actually had the Port Charlotte 10. Man, I've had a bunch of the apples. That's the classic. Brie barley. And I've got the olive barley. Yeah, olive barley. The organic. And the black art. And then I've got classic. And a couple others in the sample pack. But yeah, I don't. Recall having a Port Charlotte 10. <laughs> Not that I recall. It's surprisingly sweet. So why are some 10 years got to so coveted but other brands you want like 18? It really depends on the whiskey. I mean, when it comes to peated stuff, usually younger is better if you want that peat. As soon as you get older peated expressions, the the peat dies off a lot. Um, but don't get me wrong, like a Lefroy 25 year old is fucking amazing, but it's not the peat explosion in your face that you get from a little Freud 10. It's completely different. It's there, but it's really subtle and well integrated. And because you've got that oak maturation, just ugh, it's a whole different, there's so many layers of complexity when it comes to something that's aged for longer. So it really depends on, on the spirit and the casks like it is with bourbon. Yeah, so it really depends. I mean, some stuff, the, yeah, it, it really is depending on the maturation. What cars they're using and the spirit himself. Usually around the teenage years is usually the sweet spot. For price to bang ratio, the higher stuff or older stuff is fucking good, but we usually end up paying quite a bit of money for that, obviously. But yeah, 15, 18, 21, they're good ages. Yeah, it really does depend. There is no whole fast fucking rule for that one. You stupid bung hole. <laughs> I think pretty much everyone has. There's only five people in here and six likes, so I think we're done. But yeah, thanks everyone. <laughs> Hitting the old thumbs up. Yeah, this is some tasty shit. I do like that orangey yellow fucking wine.
No, it's not expensive. It was 110 bucks Australian, so you're probably looking 50 bucks, 40, 50 bucks if you can find it. I mean, the, the Port Charlotte 10 is um, pretty well received. Everyone rants and raves about this for good reason. It's fucking tasty. It's 50, 100 proof, 10 year old Brook Lighty. Peter. Fucking good shit. You should be able to find that. Oh, goes down like a truck and treat, mate. Truck and treat. And it's one of those ones, if you're not into strong peats, this isn't a super strong peat. It's lovely sweet with it. Delicious, subtle, sweet peat smoke. Mmm, it's good. It's fucking good. Uh, let's see what it says. Blah, 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 blah. Doesn't really say what the maturation of this is. Yeah, it's cheap. No, it's not. I mean, it's heavily peated, but it doesn't come across. It does come across like a Lafroig, for example. It's quite sweet. It's peaty, but not. Not kick you in the face, Pete. And someone who doesn't like Pete? I know it says heavily peated, but it's it's not It's not super super heavy Idini Pete. It's a real sweet, delicious Pete. This is aged in oak casks. But it's definitely there. It's fucking good. I mean, Marty likes this one. Got to get one. <laughs> yeah, it's a good glass. I like it. That should get a bit fucking warm. It's probably in between temperatures. Too hot, I mean too cold not to have this on, but too hot to have it on. Actually that's not too bad. So are you able to find this? Port Charlotte? Get Marty hook you up with a sample. I mean, you like the Refroy, you fucking love this. This is, this is not like a the high iodine, um, real band aid peat that you get from a Refroy. This is more sweeter and subtle, but it's still definitely there. And it's a hundred proof. It's a fucking win win. 
what, 50 bucks. Oh, it's got a lovely pine needle. Toast, bacon. Like honey glazed sweet bacon. Great mouthfeel. Dances all over your palate. Mid palate, end palate, finish. Delicious. Yep, I'll have to go get another bottle. I was looking at them there when I pulled this one out and pulled the other ones forward, and he's like, okay, he's got three more left. I remember that. And it's literally a fucking two minute drive away. Now I gotta find a spot to put it. You already cheated? So you can get it? How much can you get it for? Well, July is not that far away. Yeah, it cost me 110. And when I looked online, it was ranging between... Hundred and well, ninety five to hundred and fifteen. Sixty nine. Damn, that's a little bit expensive. I'd still fucking pay that though. I mean, seventy bucks US. That's what hundred and twenty Australian. No, no, that's about the same. Seventy one forty one twenty one. Yeah, that's about the same. Seventy thirty five. Yeah, no, that's about right. Well worth it. It's hundred proof. Yeah, it's pretty fucking tasty. Very different from the Freud. I would say that's more similar to Lager Volum. That sweetness. But not as smoky. My like Lagavulin's got that more ashy smoke. That's like the Ardbeg kind of sweetness. It's quite unique, actually. So it was only a neck pour, though, so... That could definitely change. Oh, Lafroig is the bomb diggity. Have you had the lore? I know you had the car strength and you had the carches and the normal 10. Actually, have I taken the bottle shot of my quarter cask? I'm going to open that fucking thing if I haven't. Or have, I should say. I think I have. Maybe. I was looking today when I took the bottle shot of the Port Charlotte, I was like, what other bottles do I need to take the bottle shot of? Have I done a quarter cask? Load, you piece of shit. No. 
know. Oh, there it is. Yes, I have. Um, it is fucking good whiskey. It's overpriced. I mean, it's like 200 bucks here Australian, so you're probably looking at 80 bucks US. I fucking like it, and I'll, I'll get another one when I finish that one. I'll try and wait to get it on special, but yeah, it's, it's worth it. It's fucking delicious. Alright, should I crack the quarter cast or the PX? The lore is pretty good. It's a little expensive for NIS, but. Yeah. 154 US. Yikes. Nah, it's not that bad. Hundred sixty nine. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's three quarters, isn't it? Almost. Yeah, no, you're right. It is one fifty. Number 169. Let's get something up there. I mean, if you really like Lefroy, I would say yes. I mean, the next step from the law is the 25 year old. I mean, that's good. That says 218 Australian. Yeah. I mean, that, that's what you're paying around here. I mean, it's, it's around 190, 220, depending on where you go. Yeah, that's the only problem with the law. It's not the cheapest thing around. But I think they've stuck some pretty decent fucking whiskey in there. I mean, Daniel from the, the tribe, he fucking loves it. His favourite. Of the little frogs. And we got a bottle for the club here a couple of years back and fucking smashed that bowl real quick. You're out of room and then you're out of the room or you're out of room to put whiskey. You're always gonna have the out of room issue. I mean I've definitely got that fucking problem. Need to slow the person down until they get the shelves up and the bar down says, ah Nah see I don't think that's that's an excuse. <laughs> I've tried that one myself to say okay. I've got way too much whiskey on my shelf. I need to make some room. Never happens. I always end up buying more whiskey. You just got to have a good range, you know. Right, let's have some pants. You know, races to stop the lines. That's right. Too many great whiskeys to experience. You only live once. I have the uh, factor of no cash. <laughs> That's what stops me buying whiskey. And as soon as I get cash, whiskey. Uh, 
Ah, uh, we all have the FOMO, man. And fucking hell. I went ballistic when I wanted that. When you guys, when you when you talked about that fucking goddamn haystack, the port finish, I was like, oh my fucking god! <laughs> I searched for like four hours trying to find it. <laughs> yeah, that was serious FOMO. I was like, oh fuck, I want it, I fuck, I want it. Ah! Well, the best whiskey is the whiskey shed. That's what I like about having people come over and I'm like, what would you like? <laughs> the first step is admitting you have a problem. Problem is I don't have enough whiskey. That's the problem. The problem is I don't have enough money, only one liver, and no room to put it all. And there's not enough hours in a day to drink whiskey. They're the problems. But this stuff evaporates, you know? You've got to replace it. It is a good problem to have. Fucking oath. Fucking good problem. Wow, that's completely different coming off that Port Charlotte. Now, I do know there is a fucking port car skill of Roig that I definitely want to get my hands on. Oh, I got the crickets. So we got crickets now. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that fucking sound? G'day Aaron, how you going mate? Oh yeah, very nice PS gas. This is good shit. I just come off the Port Charlotte 10. Straight onto this. <laughs> Having some pit. Yeah. Yeah, I like this PS cast. It's good. I want to get that port. 
I can imagine that's gonna be pretty fucking good too. Hmm. Before you can PX. Fucking thing. It's right there, right? Eh? Right behind fucking shelf. Someone could still be down to these folks. Maybe that's where he is. God damn, there's so many fucking balls and after. Maybe he had a hot date. <laughs> Good for him if he has. Hot date with a bottle of whiskey, you reckon? <laughs> I hate it when you're in three bedrooms. And the ugly one says that. Well, maybe it should be this one. No. 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 Should be that one. And then you get the putting. Or the ding dong. Uh, what I have after this? That is the question. I beg. Nah, we did that a few nights ago. Did the five, the ten. Knock, knock. Is this a knock, knock joke? Knock, knock. Who's there? Yes. I had to buy this. I eat mop. I like lamp. <laughs> I meant to say I eat mop who? Ah, oh, really? <laughs> no, 
Yeah, yeah. Fell for that one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> gotta have dad jokes. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a fucking good dad joke. Like, why'd the chicken cross the road? Get the fucking other side! Maybe some Lager Wall 9 after this. I'll do that. Or the 8. Let's see if this has got any better. Might have some of that. Chunky lady on TikTok, she's so damn funny with her dad jokes. She can't have dad jokes if she's a lady, that's not fair. You gotta be a dad to have dad jokes. All for equal opportunity and all that, but yeah, dad jokes are dad jokes. Please tell me, Mike, you're on TikTok. I certainly haven't done the TikTok thing. Not into TikTok. Just the sound of clock makes. Analog. Old school. Australia just got even cooler. Found a new dinosaur. Oh, really? Post the link. I want to check that out. Sweet. Kangaroo hopping dinosaur. I mean, that's something Australia hasn't got much of. Dinosaur fossils. That's pretty cool. Oh, I fucking crapped it again. But really? It's not your end. I did. Yep. Definitely gone to shit again. How annoying. Don't know why. Don't know why. Just wants to be annoying.
As long as a basketball court. Wow. Impressive. Stupid audio. Should be good now. Test, test. Seems to be okay. Gonna have to do some Googling, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking annoying. Just does it randomly for no reason. And the fix is I have to close, close and restart, close and restart multiple times until it fixes itself. That's the only way to fix it. We had a customer that helped provide an internet to the Australian Outback. There you go. Was it wireless internet or satellite? The real Australian Outback and only gets satellite. But we've got a pretty good wireless, yeah, satellite, yep. We've got a pretty good wireless network starting to um, expand out. G'day, Nick. Internet for airplanes, okay. Woke up in the middle of the night to find the pubs open. Great stuff. Hope you don't mind me keeping me up too long. What are you sipping, Ken? I'm sipping on the Freud PX cask. Before that, I had Port Charlotte 10. And then I'm going to have some Bloodborne 8. See if it's got any better. Yeah, I won't keep you up too late. I wonder what the temperature is. It's definitely not cold. I think the humidity is through the fucking roof because it's been raining the last couple of days. Top five favourite scotches. Don't think, just go. Um, hold on, where's my in camera? Here we go. Top five scotches. All right. Lagavulin 16. Um, top five scotches. Tomatin 14. Port. Um, do to do, do. Oh, fuck, man. That's brutal. Um, (laughs) 
All right, I, I can't say Glen Drunning 15 anymore because they've gone to shit. So Glen Alecky 15, I'd say. You can hear over the missus snoring. Nice. Um, what are we up to? Wanna have in 12, for sure. Man, fucking hell, you asked me in five seconds time and I'm going to change my answers. You do, do realise that. G'day, Ed. And over to Kill Count 12. G'day, Tito. Oh, fucking... Uh, the um, Glen Scotia 15, Glen Scotia double O. <laughs> so, so many. Cadam. Flying Leash. Fucking all of them. Frederick's in the house. G'day, Frederick. a horrible question. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no. No. Ah, uh, there you go. Hey, Fred. <laughs> Mike is needy. Mike has no alcohol. That's the problem. That's right, I was checking the fucking temperature, wasn't I? But you distracted me with this stupid question of the five best whiskies. Which is an impossible answer. There you go, it's 17 degrees. At 85% humidity. Exactly. Feeling insecure because you can't buy whiskey. Yep. I hear ya. Oh no! I forgot to put the um, text-to-speech thing on so you guys can hear it. Oh no! 96! It's not that hot. It's warm. Definitely warm. 
if this actually works. 96. It's not Ken. that hot. It's warm. Just said test Definitely testicles. Warm. Yep, that worked. Lucky work in air conditioning. Nice. Yes, yeah, same here, man. Same here. It's all this cloud cover and rain and shit. It's caused the humidity to go through the roof. That magnetic pressure must have definitely increased. Put it on credit card that you aren't buying until after you tell them. And thank God for aircon. Yep, no worries at all, mate. I can definitely hook you up for that. 96 Celsius? No, 96 Fahrenheit. Definitely not Celsius. You would be literally boiling. I mean, 96 is what? 100 and... Is that 100? No, not 96. I mean, it's like 30... 38? 78. That's good. Yeah, I know you were. <laughs> it was just a good vision of someone boiling at 96 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Bloody uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and fucking sort of recall style. 270. <laughs> Yikes! Yeah, 96 Fahrenheit. That's what? 38, I think. Somewhere around that. Where is it? 96. Thirty-five. That's fuck all. Isn't it usually seventy-eight there all the time? This is when I've gone to visit and seen that it was the tent the entire time. Like here. Now we get a couple of months a year where it actually drops. Ten months of the year, it's like fucking ninety. 90 and above. You're talking about where Tito is. 7, 8 all the time. Seven eight's cool. Yeah, 75. I mean, 96 is like our fucking... Minimums during summer. That's a cool day. 35. I'm fucking happy when it's 35. If I get a couple of days of 35, I'm like, fuck yeah. I'm not going to spontaneously combust. G'day, Nige. Good day, Nigel Hines. Where's my tip my audio? It's going through there. Yeah, it's all good. Where the fuck do you get a Ben Rick 10 for 50 bucks? Seven degrees and foggy at the moment, going to 14. 
Yikes. Yep, that's starting to get a bit cool. Yeah, it's actually warm today. I mean, I've taken my jacket off at 17 degrees Celsius, like, ah, at midnight. Weird. Which when a couple of days ago, it was like eight. Mm. PX is good. Yeah, we just got that Ben Rig 10 for 50 bucks. So I grabbed this one a few hours ago. Ed, bought you another 10. <coughs> 110 bucks, which is the going rate for it. But, but there's four of them at my local shop, shop two minutes away, so I was pretty happy about it. Oh, is it fucked again? Fuck's sake. Gone to shit? No? That sounds good. Warm here in Sweden, 27 degrees, been out with the kids, five hours straight, pizza and ice cream, nice. Fucking audio. No, that's 27 degrees. Celsius. Stacked a couple of offers. Haven't tried the Port Charlotte. Yeah, I haven't had the Port Charlotte before. I mean, I think I've had a sample of it ages ago. But I was really surprised how sweet it is. It's fucking good, man. Well worth it. Fucking tasty. <laughs> Might have to speak up. The missus is winding up. <laughs> What about if I turn this voice on? Is that louder? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, mine too, man. Mine too. <laughs> Do inches still count? Only if you're talking about appendages. Uh, the peat level is interesting. I mean, it's 100 proof. But the peat level isn't 
strong in your face like a Lefroy. It's actually really well integrated and it's it's kind of sweet but peaty at the same time. But not that iodine stringent peat. It's actually there. Yeah, it's fucking good. I like it. I can understand why everyone likes it. It is very tasty. I mean, it's only a neck pour, but everyone waxes lyrical about the Port Charlotte. And I can understand why. I think you would, man. I think you'd like it a lot. It's pretty fucking good. You know, I was saying a bit early that I've had it in my shopping cart for ages to get it. But I walked, uh, went over to the bottle shop, the one closest to me, to help someone out pick a couple of bottles, and I went, oh fuck, I gotta put Charlotte there. And they had four bottles and went, I know what I'm doing fucking later on. I'm coming back with my wallet. <laughs> and I got three left, so I might have to go back and grab another one. And it's a good price too, because shopping online, it's... Dan's had it on special for like 90... 96 or 98 or something like that. And then other places had it for like 115. So 110. Take home. Not complaining. That's worth, worth that, I reckon. It's 100 proof. And, and the cork pop. Wow. I've done it about fucking 20 times now. I even went and recorded the cork pop sound. I mean, you don't get much better than that. That's a fucking good court pop. Alright, let's see if this is any better. That cork pop is miserable compared to that poor child. Got a bit of sweet and sour on this. Like Canton sweet and sour. Next to a barbecue. Kind of dig it. Top five cork pops, Brook Lady, Brook Lady, Brook Lady, and Brook Lady. <laughs> um, I think the Starwoods have a pretty good pop. So I would say that Port Charlotte, Starwood. Most of the Diageos are pretty good. I mean, the last couple of ones I've opened tonight have been shit. Um, 
I still need to do that episode when we're going to talk about cork pops. It's one of those whiskies I've seen, but for some reason, bite bars have to change that. Yeah. I reckon you need to. It's been on my radar for ages and I've never got around, same thing, never got around to actually getting one. But I keep hearing people talking about it and saying how good it is. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I'll fucking get it. And I've been going to get one for ages. It's been in my shopping cart. And then when I saw it today, I went, fuck yeah, let's do it. And I'm glad I have. All right, let's try this Canton sweet and sour barbecue. Less Canton. Hide number three. Okay. Man, look, the RJ bottles are pretty good. They're a little squeaky, but I don't mind them. So, yeah, poor Charlotte. I'll like more than I'll start with if I need two more. Two more cook poppers. Because the, the Star Wonder ones are pretty good. They're not like that, Port Charlotte, but they're a good little solid pop. Need to record the cook pops, as in in the head. To remember which ones make a good pop. Synthetic, yeah, the synthetic. We were talking about that earlier. I reckon they should go to all synthetic toppers and corks. And the cat's eye and Chattanooga. That's a solid one piece synthetic, which I reckon good idea. Okay, Russell's is a pretty good one. Nah, that was shit. Who supports their local nearest distillery of Semper for mine, but never bought a bottle and sometimes think I should be? I mean, buy it if you like it. Don't buy it because it's your local. I mean, we have a, a local rum and gin distillery here. I bought a few bottles of there because they're, they're actually not bad. Um, they're only like half an hour down the road. And then we've got Whipper Snappers in Perth, so that's a four hour drive away. But then we've also got, there's a liqueur distillery here, which does really good liqueurs, I bought some of those. They're pretty good. But Lime Burners from my hometown, I've definitely supported a few bottles from them. But I only buy it because I like it, not because it's local. So what's the one you got local to you, Nick?
Well, I think it's fair enough you go and sample their stuff, and then if you like it, you buy a bottle, and if you don't like it, I don't think you should um, feel pressured to buy their stuff. So I live in Australia, and I don't have a huge range of Australian whiskies, so I usually just bypass them. I'm not really interested. There's lime burners and Starwood. But there's Starwood single, single cast expressions. Anything lime burners I'll grab. I know, we've been saying, where's Simon? I think he's still down south with his family. Yeah, it's kind of weird without him here. It's been the solo show. It's probably uh, power blacked out down there. <laughs> what if you took any whiskey with him? You'd have to, wouldn't you? Like I would. At least a couple of bottles. And this is rounded out a lot more. And when I first opened this, I described it as an upstart teenager, but now I'm saying it's more uh, socially adapted teenager. It's a little bit more refined. What like a wineries if I like the product but don't feel the vibe sometimes. Exactly. I do the same thing. That's it. I mean, support them if you like their shit, but don't feel the obligated that you have to buy it because it's your local stuff. It's the same with anything, you know? Support your local farmers and all that kind of shit, but yeah. And if they make good stuff. It's Patrick Kimopi whiskey. Yes, yeah, the Lager 8. I know, I know you're not a big fan of it. I'm kind of... Uh, I prefer the 9. New Zealand whiskey is a real hit and miss. There's a couple of New Zealand ones I've tried, I'm, I'm not a big fan of. And I know that one of them that Simon's got, he's not a fan of it, he doesn't like it. Okay, so the Singapore Whiskey Club had a, a 13 year old of that one. Not sure when that came out because I, I know I didn't get it. I know you guys have had a few distilleries actually closed, yeah. Oh, you haven't been haven't tried one. Oh, yeah, and I know Nigel's hasn't liked it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he didn't like it. I'm a bit meh on it. I'm not, nah, I'm not going to go out and grab another bottle. I know that much. And it's all right, but it's just a bit meh, a bit bland. I prefer the nine. 
The nine's not amazing, but has a lot more character than this. Yeah, I mean, it's all right, but I'm not going to write home about You don't think you've drank enough of it? And it gets better. It definitely gets better. It's not as hot and peppery as it was when it was that upstart teenager. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I mean, yeah, 16 all the way, and then obviously distillers. Oh, just below the neck. No, you got to you got to get down a bit more than that. Yeah, yeah. When I'm I'm a third way down. And it's definitely mellowed and settled down quite a bit. Oh no, sorry, I'm only below the neck as well. Oh, shoulder, sorry. I'm down to here. And it's definitely settled down. But yeah, if you're only here, yeah, that's... from our, This part, I wasn't a fan of. But from here downwards, it's alright. It's just alright. I think that's what we pretty much said on the... Review. I'm not a tenth of nine. So this, so this one I don't mind, as you can tell. This was the best of the Game of Thrones. I mean, even though this is, you know, pretty much dead bottle. You're going to get the Loch Lomond Open Edition when it comes out here. I suppose they're quite good from the reviews I've seen. 62, but should be able to get it that down to 50-ish. Loch Lomond Open Edition. Tell me more. Open Edition, Open Edition. That rings the bell. But yes, Loch Lomond, I'm in. I like what Loch Lomond has been thrown down. Yeah, this is he's better than the eight. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that's better. A lot more sherry influence. A lot sweeter. None of that harsh pepper note. That's heat. Golf special, yes. Yes. 
Thank you, Nodge. Yeah, that reminded me. I was like, oh, that rings a bell. Yeah. Yep. That one over the eight. And I certainly didn't buy this for the Game of Thrones crap. I just bought it because it was fucking luggable. Because <laughs> I didn't buy any other Game of Thrones. I'm like, nah, fuck you. I'll just grab this standard shit. But because it was luggable, I had to have it. Two different bubbles. Yeah, I was going to say, don't, aren't they doing a couple different expressions of the golf ones? They're doing different sports. It wasn't just golf. They were doing different stuff, wasn't they? I wonder if you put it well up in the 12, we've added the first choice and look around from the 12th. We're we'll pretty on it. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. So we've only got a few days to go to grab. Oh, fuck yeah. So look around the first choice. Nice. Yeah. I'll grab a bottle of that. Well up on the 12th. Well, that's nice. So it's just a straight lock loam and it's not an inch moon or inch moon. Twenty-year-old. Oh, I'd be keen on the twenty-year-old. Because that's not going to be that expensive. I still need to get. Couple of inch moans and inch mirrors. Yeah, I knew the golf one was 160 pounds, so it's around 150 ish, around something, but still, that's not bad. So 20 euro. Certainly a lot more expensive than a normal 18 year old, which I'm a fan of. Just gonna have to have some Loch Lomond next. And I have me. The Inch Mine. This was a Whiskey Club. Exclusive. And I do have the Lock Lomond 18. But yeah, it's been a while since I've had some of this. Make sure I rinse my palette out, of course, after I have my Lagavulin 9. Yeah, if you can find one of these knives, as you can tell, I don't like it. And I got a second bottle. <laughs> and then the only other Game of Thrones one I would have got was is the Client Leash, because they were the, the two good ones. Yeah, so that's good. Better put your phone on charge. She's about to die.
Oh, you bought three of the coinish? Yeah, so there you go. Yep. Did you get any of the lugger ball? Yeah, I missed, um, missed out on that one. It all got gobbled up pretty quick. But I was like, meh, I just got normal climb loose. I'm happy with that. Got the one lager. Have you cracked it? No worries, Nige. Get you back in a sec. You have to crack your eight year old and your nine year old and do a comparison. I haven't cracked my 10. Or the 11. So I could do it 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 12. <laughs> I guess that, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Hey, you have whiskey there that's just sealed up and you haven't cracked it yet. I'm like, ah, oh, how do you do that? Well, I've got a couple bottles because, you know, there's a couple of them. Uh, I just collect them because they're ones that I wanted to get, like the the 10 and 11. The 10 is a travel only and the 11 is the Offerman. I'm not really that worried about drinking it. You know, I'll just drink the 16 or whatever because I can't get the that one but I did grab two bottles of that Guinness one because I can drink one I probably end up drinking both actually it's meant to be pretty good from what it's the same I mean there weren't that many good reviews on the original that's why I'm not that fast of opening it I'm just super happy to have it and to have one I will crack it eventually. On the birthday or something like that. I've been sitting on the 12 months. Yeah, I couldn't do that. <laughs> now, I do have an eight year old anniversary edition sitting there that one I haven't cracked and I don't think I'll bother to be honest because the eight is kind of meh I am chuffed to have the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've got my little flush. It's always weird, whenever that beep goes off, it always sounds like it's in a different place. Even though it's right behind me. Sometimes it sounds like it's over there, or it's over there, or over there somewhere. <laughs> but it's literally right there.
This has definitely got a lot more sherry influence than the eight. And good sherry too. Actually, I don't think the sherry on the eight is there at all. This is heaps more. This is a three quarters fucking empty bottle too. This is like buttered toast. Sweet fruit. Smouldering distant campfire. Pepper. A cranberry? Dried cranberry? Pisses over the nine. I mean the eight. <laughs> Finishes his bear. Yep, nine for the win. I mean that eight has definitely got better. See what happens when it gets halfway down the bottom. No wines over twelve years, but untried, maybe no. You'll like them. Not the same for whiskey as it won't improve, but maybe the Hawaiian experience has given me patience. True. True. I mean, yeah, you can mature your wines, that's for sure. Well, I look at it though. I mean, fair enough. Put your wines away and let them age for a little bit, but your whiskey, you got nothing to wait for, man. Just pop that cork. Have a little, have a little sippy sip. Dead. I'm not one of those people that you know saves something for a special occasion kind of deal. Well, except for one, that one. That's the only one that I'm saving. The rest, nah, drink it. Especially because I want to try it, you know? And the thing is, once you pop that cork, and if you only have a little bit, it's not going to, you know, if you still got that much headspace, it's not going to make fuck all difference to it. Not till you get to halfway down the bottle. That's really going to change. Got backups, so you got no excuse. You get, you got multiples, you can scroll them away. Like a bottle usually doesn't last too many days on my shelf before I open it. The usual factor is if I haven't taken the bottle shot, then I don't crack it. 
Do you have multiples? Definitely crack one. Well, the other side of the coin is crack it to know whether you want to get some more fucking backups. Because if you have a really jam of a bottle there that you really fucking like, and you've been sitting on it for fucking 12 months, and you go to get a backup because you really like it, either the price is going to go through the roof, or the availability is gone, or both. But I totally get the idea of getting a shitload of whiskey so you have a nice collection there for later on. But nah, drink it, man. That's what they're for. Drink out. <laughs> All the ones that I've told you to crack. You've liked them. That's exactly what I do if I live in prices there. Yeah, that's it. No, I definitely like cracking them. You gotta crack them. There's always that little voice in your head that says, no, no, you don't wanna crack it. It's gonna get, you know, it's gonna evaporate and shit. It's gonna change and shit. Like, yeah, but they made this shit to drink. They didn't make it there to look at it. <coughs> the reason why we have this stuff, to drink it. And when it's just sitting on your shelf and it's not open, it's not part of your soul. As soon as you sniff it and drink it, it becomes part of your being. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, exactly. All those different experiences you haven't had. You gotta pop them. Pop them open. And it's the best way to explore stuff that you like and don't like and different expressions. I don't, I don't mind that. It's pretty good. All right, let's get some water. And have a bit more of this. And this is bottled in October 2019, so it's almost fucking two years old. Good day, same face. Good day, steam face. Let the curiosity take over. Drink them, fucking a. Afternoon from Canada, eh? <laughs> Cheers. Ugh, my scusi. You have six expressions of hide and tried just one. Ah, fuck that. I'd be wanting to. I'd I'd be doing a flight. Try them all, man. I mean, especially after you open that first one here, I liked it. You'd be like super curious to try the other ones. <laughs> nah, it's made for drinking. Go drink it. Drink it. And the more you pop, the more you get to show someone else. So 
that when you're trying to explain an expression to someone or something that they kind of like, you can say, we can try this one or this one or this one. Four Penfolds Grange? Fuck yeah. Yeah, I want to get some of that Penfolds bloody port. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucking oath, I'd be drinking them too. When that special occasion thing never comes, there's always some special thing. I reckon the special thing is you still fucking breathing? Drink whiskey. Any day that ends in Y is a special day. What is that note? It's like a burnt moldy something. Come on brain, what is that? Let it rest for a second. And this is 48. Ooh, I've got a floaty. Is it a cork or something? That's, That's it, now. It's just a shitload of oil for my hands. That's a light colour too. And look at that, super light. <laughs> Did you share them if so? She must have been out of a good looking. <laughs> If you still live the 74, it'd be worth two grand. Yeah. But hey, that's like the stock market. Captain Hindsight. You know? Or fucking Lotto. You need the fucking numbers. Now, nah, just fucking drink it and enjoy it. I know what it is. Fucking dried fish bait. Barley. Uh, fucking, um, yeah, fish barley. Yep, that's what it is. It's fucking barley. As in fish barley. 
droid every fucking drop. Exactly. Even years on vintages Aussie wines have always considered the better, but recently changed. True. True. Fucking fish barley. <laughs> you know, we add the oil into the fucking barley to put in for the fish. What's that fucking word? What is it? Yeah, you just call it barley, don't you? Didn't share them. Good man. Drink it all yourself. Incorporate every single drop into your soul. when you go fishing um no nah, can't think of it Burley thank you Nick I knew it was fucking close. I'm just like, barley, burly. <laughs> Don't you hate it when your brain just goes, nut? Fuck you, cat. <laughs> you ain't getting that out. Yeah, fucking burly. That's it. The worst Eastern State vintage on the record. And just drink it. Drink them all. Breakfast just arrived. I have no idea what that is, Mike. No idea. I have no idea what that is. some barbecued meat, something wrong, maybe? Oh, that is good. For those people that don't like malt, don't buy this one. This is delicious honeyed malt. And if I do remember correctly, I gave this a pretty high rating. It's pretty tasty. Fucking knock and do, man. Similar, but on a different world, but <clears throat> this Lock Loman mob, fuck. I like what they're doing. That's pretty much a 12 year old. It's distilled in 2007, bottled in October 2019. Non-chill filtered, natural colored, 48%. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, there you go. I'll add something. I don't know how to pronounce it. Eggs in Spanish. Neveos? Neveos? No idea. My right, Espanol is shite. Weevils. 
Evils. Evils. Weevils. Vivils? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Close enough. <laughs> Yeah, if it's a Germanic type language, I could probably help you out, but yeah. <laughs> Not when it comes to Espanol. I am no good. It's definitely fucking some burly in there. Yep. Reminds me of fucking burly. I like it. Not the strong burly, just the, the real dry fucking cereal burly. It really does smell like it. <laughs> hmm. You don't get it on the other first. Rich honey. Yeah, honey barley oat. A real good malt. Definitely not one that uh, the people that don't like malty such. It's good though. <laughs> Mm. I need to get more, more like Lomond on the Bonnie Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. Do you get most of your whiskey via post or from a store directly? I would say 50-50. No, actually, no, 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 more like 60-40, 60-40, 60-40 post, 40 in the local shops. Yeah. So whatever stuff I can find locally, I'll buy it. If it's, you know, a decent price. But I do order quite a bit of shit online. And I've got two subscription, two subscription services, and then, you know, quite a few of my regular bottle shops that I order shit from online. But then I've got a few bottle shops here that I frequent, just to check what they've got. And like today, when I saw that Port Charlotte on the shelf, where I didn't see it before, immediately grabbed that. The, the Russell stuff, grabbed all them locally. Had a look today, trying to see what in the shop that had that Port Charlotte, see what um, Eagle Rares, no, not Eagle Rares, um, I can brain fart, Wild Turkey, um, Red <coughs> didn't have the fucking rye, just haven't been able to find. Description service to send you the good stuff? Yeah. Well, this is one from Whiskey Club. And the cool thing is, it's just an opt out service, so you don't, it doesn't cost you anything. Good day. To be part of the club. Mike Franklin. G'day, Mike. Um, and yeah, they send you an email of, like three days before it about. So the, the Single Malt Whiskey Club is every the first Friday of the month. They send out the email and then it ships on the Monday. Um, so you can sign up for a, a, a double bottle or a single bottle. So they usually have the bottle of the month, which these guys have a really good buying power. So they get like Australia only exclusives. Like this has got the branding on it. This is Australia only exclusive bottling. You know, members edition. It's got the Whiskey Club of Australia on there, blah, blah, blah. 
So you get some really good bottles, and then other ones you're like, meh, don't bother. So you just tick the box to opt out, so you don't have to get it. But they also have one or two bottles that they have as add-ons. So this month, with the Single Malt Whiskey Club, which is on its way, is the Glenfiddich 14 year old finished in exclusively American virgin oak, which is the first time Glenfiddich has done it in 135 years. You guys in the States have got one, which is done in ex bourbon and virgin oak, but this one is exclusively virgin oak. So I'll definitely I'll grab one of them. And then the other two add on bottles was uh, Australian Lark in Tasmania. So there's two bottles of that, which I didn't didn't grab because I didn't get money for the, the, the um, 14 year old. And the other whiskey club had the Aaron Sherry Cast. So that usually comes out towards the end of the month. Same deal. They send out an email, opt out, or just stay in and you get the bottle. It's pretty good service. You get some really good stuff. On occasion, they're pretty shit. I mean, the the one I always pull the fucking piss out of is that Anoc 2007, which is absolute garbage. Um, but other than that, all the ones that I've opted in and got them, I've been happy with them. They've been fucking good. Burnouts by Enteros. Yeah, they're pretty good. I mean, it's similar to SMWS. But just not as good because SMWS is, you know, an idiot volley. But some of these bowls are almost the equivalent to an indie bowling. Because they're just one off exclusives for club club. And it's cool when they do the branding and everything. So you can see on this one. So it's like a store pick almost. But it's the Whiskey Club that's doing it. Fucking focus, there you go. Whiskey Club, members edition. And then you see it up here, where is it? Do, 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 do. No. It's on here. There you go. You can see Whiskey Club. Created exclusively for the Whiskey Club. So it's pretty cool that they actually do it on their packaging. It's all labeled exclusively for the Whiskey Club. I oh, just got a bottle of the 18 Aaron Sherry. Nice. Yeah, I want to grab just the straight 18 Aaron. I've been pretty fucking keen to get my hands on that. It's on my shopping list. But yeah, I've got the... <laughs> straight Sherry cask with the new brailed packaging. Yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, 55.8% ABV. Even on the packaging. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Yep. So, th this is a prime example. This is the Malaga or Malag Malaga cask. This was an exclusive. Well, not an exclusive, but they pretty much bought up the whole allocation to Australia for the Single Malt Whiskey Club. Um... It's going to Farkless. This is an exclusive. Same deal. I mean, even on the packaging, it says the Glen Farkless for the Whiskey Club. And then they got the Whiskey Club fucking focus. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Same logo. It's on the bottle as well. Ball the Whiskey Club. Mm. 
Very cool. Also grabbed the Aaron 21, and it's great as well, but I take the 18 Cherry Cast over it and merely bought a backup ball. Yep. That's what I've heard. I mean, everyone says the 18 is fucking good shit. You don't hear too much people, too many people ranting about the 21. There's another one, Mike. That's a Glen Scotia Caribbean rum cast exclusively for the whiskey club. That Tullam and Dean was one for the whiskey club. Yeah, so he gets a pretty good bottle from. And they're normally going to say social media like a month before like the release. release. I mean, I just bought a Jim Bean fucking single barrel. Oh, sorry, Jack Daniels single barrel. I didn't get that one. I was on an R and I didn't really have the cash at the time, but yeah. But I think they've still got it. Oh, was that an add-in bottle? It might have been an add-in bottle. Hmm, they still might. I think they've still got some of that in stock. I have to grab that sucker. Just as much or more complexity in whiskey than in wine. If you're talking scotch, yes. I mean, especially when you start talking wine finishes. My wife loves the Caribbean Reserve. Yeah, I hear good things about that one. I've never actually tried that one. I need to grab fucking 15 Solara. But yeah, I'm pretty keen to try this 14 year old complete American virgin oak. It's going to be very interesting. I agree with you. Good day. Good day, Cheech. How you going, mate? Cheech I totally Ardolino. I mean, me and the missus, the last, what, three months, we've been having a glass of white. It's just cast white, but it's actually pretty fucking good. It's just a fruity white. Having on that with our dinner each night. Fucking good. Nice big fucking glass of it too. I mean, normally if I've got a decent white, I'll crack that too. But yeah, I've run out. <laughs> got to get some more. Never get a chance to try two brewers from Canada. Give it a try. I've got five different versions. Everyone, everyone is a keeper. I've heard of two brewers. Yeah, I've heard good things about those guys. It's not something you get too much of here with the international um, stuff. Most of it is all the Aussie beers and shit. Mm, that is a multi magnificent. Trying to think of a Ralphie type fucking malt mention. <laughs> it's just fucking good. <laughs> Oops, didn't want to hit that one. All right, back in a second.
What did I miss? She's waking up. I better go try and get some Z's. <laughs> Cheers, Nick. Have oh, a good one, mate. Just melon in general. Catch up on the chat. Single malts have this watermelon bubblegum Turkish delight base. Okay. Ooh, we're going to have a call, are we? <laughs> For you, I'm available any time. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> or she. Crickets. That's your fault, Cheech. Having your message thing on, notification thing on your phone, have the cricket sound. I'd have crickets now. <laughs> I need to order some nicotine just before I ban it. I'm going to ban on all the time. I'm going to import it. Fuck like an ass. <laughs> no, I like the crickets. Crickets are awesome. Now, real crickets from the BBC Sound Archive. I had a fucking like massive page of all these different cricket sounds. Fucking good resource that bloody BBC sound I got. Very cool. So then I added some cheers and some laughter. Good day. B.S.B.O. Urban. B.S. Bourbon. G'day, mate. And then I got, uh... No, 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 no. Then we're having a good old doll-up modem.
BS bourbon as in bullshit bourbon? <laughs> That sounds too loud, or they're too quiet. Let us know. I'm going to adjust the volume on the preset. Bullshit boom. Nice. I like it. Is that what you prefer to drink, or not drink? Or is all bourbon bullshit? <laughs> I did see something, there was an article, someone was talking about scotch and stuff. Or well, not scotch, but whiskey down under. And they, they named it Drams Down Under. And I was like, fuck, what did I think of that name? I was actually making a mistake. Because I originally was going to call the channel Whiskey Down Under. And then I made the logo. And I did it as scotch. I wasn't even thinking. I was just in the zone making graphics and shit. And I fucking made scotch down under, and I was like, ah, oh, crap. So, yeah, drams down under would have been fucking awesome, because I like all alcohol. I'm not biased. I mean, I do really like scotch, and I really like bourbon, and I really like Irish, and I really like gins, and I really like rums. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, well, well. Shit, shit happens. That's done now. I ain't changing it. Bullshit. Well, I guess best shit. It all depends. All depends. I like it all. I like all them alcohols. Gonna have to have some bourbon now. Do I stop myself and not have some of that fucking Red Bull Empire? Or do I just have some? Do I do the Weller Special Reserve? Or some Russells? No, I did Russells last night. The last one. Don't feel like any. Max forty six. Put that on there. I know hindsight, eh? Captain fucking hindsight. Yep. Drowns would have been perfect. As soon as I read that article today, it's like fuck. Drowns down under. That would. That's a fucking good one. Red label. Don't have any. <laughs> I did. You have to watch the episode last night. No, I'll give you a look. She is completely finished. Fucking awesome. Cockpit comes out. So you can see the seat underneath. Yeah, I could. I did. That did cross my mind. I thought, oh, maybe I could change my name and shit. And I was like, eh, I don't know if I can be bothered. I kind of like Scotch Down Under. It's got a ring to it. But Drams Down Under was like DDD. <laughs> It is fucking beautiful. Yeah, check out about halfway through last night's episode when we fucked around with it. And I opened the cargo bay. 
and put the um, the hubble in there like it was being deployed. Yeah, this thing is fucking sexy. I love it. This and the Saturn V have, well, and the International Space Station, they've got to be something of the next fucking sex. I just hope that Lego decides to make more of this cool space shit. No, this is, this is not fragile at all. I mean, this is really swishable. I mean, yeah, this is quite fucking sturdy. It's, it's pretty good. And obviously if I dropped it on the floor, there'd be quite a few pieces that explode off it. But yeah, this is actually nice and solid. It's got decent fucking heft to it, eh? You don't have to be super fucking fragile with it. It's pretty good. And that's rattling inside because I've got the uh, couple of pieces that you use to put the Hubble into it. The next Lego I've already ordered. So Chris and myself will be doing the uh, Imperial Prod Droid. If I start back. Everybody the next one, saying it's more build. Um, the one I am looking to get is the 11,000 piece world map. I want that one. But yeah, this, this thing's fucking wicked! Gotta find a home for it now. Finished with a Ben Rick single cast Moscadel. Delicious. Cheers. Oh, the Batmobile. No, that's Jason. Jason with the Mash and Drums got the Batmobile. Uh, Batmobile. He's got that one. So we're going to do a... I haven't got that, that kit. So I'm going to build one of my sets while he builds that one. That'll be... And then... Chris... From um, Big Lee Bourbon. He's got the Ecto 1. So we're going to do a build while well, he's building that one, and I'll build one of mine. I'm looking to get in the R2D2 as well, the new one. I've got the original one. So I want to get the, the new one. And the Colosseum, I was actually looking at getting that too. That's a pretty awesome set. It's kind of a repetitive kind of build, but it looks pretty fucking sick. Just this Lego is so fucking expensive, man. Cuts into the whiskey, you know? Gotta get that money. Gotta get the money. Money for the whiskey, money for the Lego. That's like when Lord Schlongsved would lock me into his fucking bar and just give me Lego kits to build them. I'd be fucking happy, man. <laughs> just stream that shit. <laughs> Drink all his whiskey, build all his Lego. Done. I still have the lighting kit to do with the all-terrain crane. I still haven't done that. So that's something I could do. Yeah, but these sets certainly fucking add up. They're not cheap. Yeah, so we'll do the the joint build. I mean, I'd like to buy the Ecto one and the Batmobile, but yeah, can't afford them at the moment. Cause that'd be cool to both had in the same same set. But me, Chris, and myself, we'll both have the same set, so that'll be cool build. That'll be a short build. 
only 600 pieces, I think. Good day. Whiskey Samurai. The shuttle was two thousand two hundred and thirty odd. Oh, there you go. 2,354. Still got the box down there. <laughs> G'day, Whiskey Samurai. How you going, mate? Good day. JD Bourbon Approach. Cheers, mate. Inch by inch. Good. It's very good. Oh, you're back in Poland. Wait. Nice. Nice. Been having a few Polish beers. Or Polish uh, vodkas. All right. Oh God, I've only got that much left. So going back to what we we're talking about with the best uh, pop cork pops. This is a pretty good one. Decided not to drink until July when life comes over. Nice. I respect that. Should get some water, shouldn't I? Just posted my latest build in Discord. Still going. Yep, still going. Uh, I haven't got phone or Discord here. Uh, hold on. Probably look on my other machine. If I can find the Discord. Oh, nice. Y Wing. Sweet. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I've been pretty slack. I haven't put any pictures up of the bloody shuttle build.
Simple Simon is simply not here. I'm guessing he's down with his fam. Luke's land speeder, nice. Yeah, we'll be doing the Imperial Probe Droid next week, probably. And I'm looking to get the new R2-D2. I'll have to get my original R2-D2 out, have it side by side. Uh, the Mice Plague is inland a little bit, I think. It's not actually here. I did read about that afterwards when someone else mentioned it. I didn't even know there was a plague. I mean, I don't look at the news or anything. I ain't got time for that shit. But yeah, when someone else did mention it, I did have a look and yeah, around this Midwest, there is a bit of a plague, supposedly. I've seen fuck all. I did see one dead mice a few days ago when I was doing the bit of yard work. I think the cat or the dog killed it. But there hasn't been an infestation here. I mean, I'm literally five minute walk away from the ocean, so inland, they've definitely got an issue. And some, somebody was saying, they were scientists or something, they said it's not actually at plague proportions, they're just a little bit over normal numbers. They have Civic type cop cars? They do, they do. So typically, you're uh, a few different cop cars, and then you've got your unmarked cop cars. God damn, this stuff is good. Mm -hmm. I want to get a whole bunch of the other Red Board Empire stuff. I found a couple of places in Florida that can ship to my Florida address, so I'm going to be purchasing a few bottles when I have some cash to do such. Want more of this stuff. And I'll just have to forget about that goddamn fucking haystack needle point. Goddamn port finished one fucking can't get it. Damn it. I mean, the cab sav one is floating around. I want that fucking port. Still looking for the Holden Commodore HSV Hot Wheel, but not here in the States. I could probably hook you up with that. I could definitely hook you up with that. Send me a message in Discord and I'll I'll source one for you and send it over to you. Yep, we'll make that happen. Yep, definitely can do that. We've definitely got fucking shitload of, um... You can get me the haystack n fucking port? Really? If you can source me one of those, fuck. I mean, in the description, I've got my Florida address. If you can ship it to Florida, that's the problem. The 
Glenfiddich 14 US exclusive has been pain in the ass. I should have the Glenfiddich 14 Australian one uh, in probably about 10 days. This time is limited for my wife to send it. Yep. No worries. Fuck, if you can get me a haystack, I'd be a happy camper. I mean, this shit would convert me from fucking Scotch man. This stuff's delicious. Yeah, so now I've got some cash, I'm gonna get a couple more bottles of probably that one, and there's the American one, and oh, there's the rye one, and there's another one I can find in Florida. Yeah, I found a couple of places with the cab one, but not the port. I found one place. It's in the States and they don't ship by water. It's six bottle ships to Australia. Fingers crossed it gets through, baby. Fingers crossed it, man. That's going to be an epic mail day, man. I can't wait till we can have a drink together. Pod Dream, yes. And the Edinburgh Giant. That's, yeah. They're the ones. The Green Liver Caribbean Reserve. I haven't had it, but everyone says it's good. Everyone says it's actually a decent fucking Caribbean rum cast finish, so. Yeah, the Pipe Dream, Emerald Giant, and there's another one. Is it American something or other? American? Something like that. But Bert was saying they're going to be releasing more of those. Haystacks. Because they've only released a small batch of them. I can hope so. Because I really want that port. Especially after you said, Mike, that it was fucking delicious. And it was one of your top rated from the Schlammering. I'm like, fuck. And the, the amount of love this, and then have that with port? God damn, yes. Glen Scotia Festival 2020 for sure with engraving. Oh, yeah. Yep, gonna be doing some sexy photography with that bottle. That'll be my intro. God damn, I love that bottle. Oh, some hot wheels for me and my boy. Oh, he'd love gonna like that. Oh, that'd be awesome, Samurai. That's gonna be sweet, man. Yeah, send me a message and I'll hook you up with the, the Commodore and the HSV. I can definitely get those. 
I definitely should be able to hook you up for those. My son's probably got what we call dinky toys. I mean, he's got a whole fucking massive ice cream container for him. All of them. Fuck yeah, I can stick them up and just shut That'd be sweet. I actually picked up a. I got a mini. Picked this one up a while ago. So I picked up this sick little fucking mini. I think it, I'm not even sure what it is. Can't even remember where I fucking got it. Uh, what the fuck is it? The Morris. Uh, made in Malaysia. Doesn't have the Hot Wheels branding, I can tell. No, not sure. Stock house, eh? Pretty sweet. For sure, man. Whiskey YouTube community is the best fucking community ever. I totally agree with that. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty sweet fucking car. Though. I like it. Fucking racing colours. You used to have a really awesome collection when I was a young kid. Yep, yep, that's the one. Yep, it's the Morris Motor Rally. That's the one. Yeah, I can't remember when I got it. Or where I got it. Four different paint schemes for them? Nice! Yeah, I think I was in a shop and I saw it and I thought, I, I fucking gotta have that. <laughs> I have a look now and see if I can find a fucking... more Commodores I can get. Hot Wheels casing most closely resembles HFV VN Club Sport. Holden SS Commodore VT. Oh, there's a Matchbox Mini Cooper, Mr. Bean, on eBay. Oh, oh Corgi does one with him sitting on the chair <laughs> when he did the remote control. Oh, man, I want it. I want it. Oh, that's sick. All right, I need to stop for that. The favorite car or type of car.
That's a good point. I'll have to ask him. I mean, he's got a few favorites that he likes playing with. Yeah, I'll have to ask him that. That's all good, JD. I mean, yeah, it's on replay if you want to go back and watch it. No need to be sorry, mate. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. I mean, he did like playing with the... Um... The cars from Cars. I mean, he's got a Hot Wheels fucking track. He's got a few cars on there that run really well on that track. One of those. It's a actually, it's um not a Hot Wheels track. Actually, I, I do have a remote control Hot Wheels track. For him. Uh, it's um Mario Kart thingy, and it comes with a couple of cars. But he went through and tried all these um dinky toys on it. His Hot Wheels cars. And there was a few of them that ran really well and you whack it with your hand and it fucking flies around and fucking does a big loop. So he's been whacking the shit out of that. Three countries in the last seven days. Shit! Yeah, man, it's a bit hard to catch fucking streams when you're doing that travel, man. Ah, it's good to hear you're back in Poland, man. Eh? Jeez. God damn, I love this lost mana. I didn't even know how fucking good this was until you <laughs> sent me this bottle, JD. I mean, fuck! This stuff's great. I've never tasted anything like it from fucking American style whiskey. I mean, it's fucking delicious. Big fan. Yeah, I bet you can't wait to catch up with the fam. This is an R390. Nice. Or Nissan, as you can call them. 17 Nissan Skylines. We just call them Nissan. 17. That's awesome. I mean, how do you store all your fucking collection? That's got to be a fucking nightmare. Osmonic Red Iron Pie is one of my favorite whiskies out there for the price. Yep, I can totally understand why. It's a fucking great bottle. I just, um, just whack them in general. Yeah, stick them in general. Or if you stick a bottle of whiskey next to them, put them in whiskey porn. <laughs> yeah, do that, do that. <laughs> Put a bottle of whiskey in there somewhere and put it in whiskey porn. Definitely. Because that is porn. Nice. Yeah, I want to see those. It's like a drool in jealousy. I'm just thinking about different cars I want to buy now and I'm like, fuck! No, 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 I don't want to buy more stuff.
I've got way too many black holes for money at the moment. <laughs> Just... Used to collect hot wheels and had over a hundred treasure. Yep. Yeah. I could definitely get hooked on collecting fucking hot wheels. I thought I just stopped myself. Draw the line. Mmm. That is a tasty beverage. It's such a great sipper, you know? You just drink that all day, anytime. So pleasant. With great complexity as well. It's not just bland and, you know, it's not just whiskey. It's actually got some shit going on in there. All right, we got three minutes to go to five hours. I might kick them in the guts at the five hour mark. Normally when I say that, it ends up being another two hours. <laughs> Yep, now I collect the whiskey, I do the same. I collect the whiskey, and I collect the Lego, and I... camera gear, and astronomy gear, and... All that goddamn shit. Let's have a look ski. Holy shit. Like, I've seen your background in your videos, like, fucking hell. That's so cool. Wow. That's fucking cool, man. Kleinly 16? Ooh. If you can name the car and they have made it in a hot wheel, they'll probably have it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> a 2006 Jeep Wrangler JK. 350 in the boxes still. So how many do you have not in the box? And do you like play with them? Because I certainly fucking would. <laughs> Client Leash 16. Oh. I think me wants that one. And I did hear something about that. I don't know fuck all about it, but I did hear rumblings about a Klein Leash 16 or 17 or something around that. Is it a limited special release bottling finished and something, or is it just a Klein Leash 16? Whatever it is, I want one.
I do have a Transformer Jeep. But yeah, I don't have a Hot Toys fucking Jeep. About 75 out of the box when I was a kid, and yeah, I play with them. With enough whiskey, that is. No Jeep, but have the Land Rover Defender. Ooh! That's another Lego kit. I wouldn't mind, actually, the Land Rover Defender, the new one. That's a pretty nice kit, that one. And I want the Mini, too. Nice. New expansion of the steering with a special release. Yeah, that's gonna get gobbled up fucking big time. Guaranteed. Fuck yeah, I'd definitely be playing with them. Like this fucking table right here. <laughs> Fucking collection of hot toys. Yeah, I'm a little bit jealous when my son has all these fucking hot toys out and he's playing with them. The friend of ours gave him a whole fucking box full. <laughs> Hey, I do the same thing. Every time I go to the fucking shops here in the toy section, I fucking go straight to all the toys and have a look. Fucking oath, man. I am a big fucking kid, for sure. Yep, always go have a look at the fucking Hot Toys and the fucking Lego and the G.I. Joe shit. Need to call it five hours? Yeah. Probably should, eh? Try and catch some Z's, I suppose. Get some work done tomorrow. Well, today. It's only 1.30 a.m. That's my normal fucking time. I normally hit the sack about 1, 2, 2, 1, 1. That's my normal operating procedure. Fucking hell, I really want to go buy that fucking... Mr. Bean. Corgi. The one with Mr. Bean sitting on the top in the fucking chair. <laughs> and fucking hot toys. That's something I've definitely stopped myself from getting into. Oh my god, that's an expansive fucking thing, all those figurines. God damn. There's some really fucking nice. There's a couple of nice stuff. There's a new company coming out with some really gorgeously sexy fucking Star Trek figurines. I got one with the card from First Contact and Data from First Contact. Oh my god, so, so good. Love blunt. All right, we'll call it. Mr. Bean, he's a fucking legend. The other night, I was sitting there watching his um, his comedy sketch show. Cheers, Od. Take it easy, mate. Say hi to the missus. Yeah, I um, I watched pretty much the the really good skits, you know, where he does the invisible drums, the roll call for the school. I fucking love that one, and the roll call for when he's playing um the devil. I fucking love those. Donut Media on YouTube, great guys, super funny. Donut Media, okay. Let's have a gander at that. Cheers, Tito. I hope you're having a fat time with that big cook up. Oh, not to media. What does that sound familiar?
Actually, I think I've seen some of this stuff. Nice. Shots, 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 shots. Don't have any shots. I'll pour a little something, something, and scull it down for a toast. Uh, what should we have? Let's go to Australia. Have some of the ginger beer cask. <laughs> That's definitely popped open a bit. I thought it would. That ginger beer is actually coming through. Nice. A little journey closing time. Yes. Nice. All right. Cheers, guys. We'll catch you on the next stream, probably on Live Wild Whiskey, I suppose. I might pop it on there. Till next time. Have a good one. Cheers. Nom, 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 nom.